hello YouTube in this video I am going to give you a review on uh, Sailfish OS it is a alpha 2 build so there are many bugs it's not for daily purpose it's just for the sake of if you are a flash -holic person you can go and give it a try because this is a different user interface other than the Android <laughs> so let's check out that one First of all, this is the lock screen. From lock screen, you can silence the sounds from here. Turn on the sounds, you can do that from here. This is the lock screen. If I pull up, I'll go to the home screen. So this is the home screen. Then if I pull down again, I'll get the launcher with all the application installed. So this is the three screen, three main screen here. And from this is the call button. Now there is no number, I can dial the number here and then I can simply call. And then swiping from the left I can go to the main screen. I can do the same with the swiping left also. And this is a messaging application. There is no message so I can write new message using new message. I can enter the recipient and I can enter the message here by again again by swiping left I can go back to the main screen again then here is the browser and if I tap on the wireless LAN it will check for the wireless LAN and you can, we can connect to that so is that in this camera camera is not working with this build so this is about the home screen and then if I pull down again I can see all the installed application here. So this is the launcher screen. People store gallery, you can see the gallery application here. Ambience typing tapping that one will open like that and then if I click on the one I'll get the extra settings from here. So I right. pulling down I can get these options. Pulling left I can go back to the screen. So it's from here. I can enter the home screen so that's about the gallery application and here is the settings option you can see all the settings here like system settings you can see all the system settings display shortcuts sounds and feedback whereas then internet sharing is there so mobile network bluetooth usb location bluetooth sync backup device lock pin code and trust software development tool language, text input, safety updates, about product, battery, transfer, data counter, reset device, everything is there. That's about the settings menu. Then terminal, I can turn on the terminal for the ter terminal purpose. Calculator, so this is the calculator. Then now uh, calculator, uh, sorry calendar. I can manage the month by swiping a like, and then I can pull down. I can get all these options. That's calculator. Then the clock. I think we see it. So I can open the stopwatch from here, and then I can also open the new timer, new set the timer, new alarm clock. I can add. So that's about the alarm. And then email application, no account, so I need to add account. And then files, it's not running on, no problem, then media, okay, there is no media, it's listing, and notes. By tapping on this icon I can create a note from the main screen itself instead of going going to the application I can tap here itself I can it's like a quick access so if you in the timer and all I can directly click on this one to add so it's good documents Here are the tutorials and here is the component components 
can see all the buttons and all, all the components used in the selfie joys with another dive in so this is all about the selfie joys if I tap and press on that one I can close each and every individual applications that I recently opened if I pull down I can close all from here so this is how to use this selfie choice this is a new OS which is in development we'll see what's come up with the latest versions so this is all about selfish review if you want to know how to install the selfish on your oneplus one there is a link in the description to show you that just go and check it out thanks for watching please subscribe for more